One of the things that I want to bring up is in 2020, after George Floyd, a bunch of companies, Black Square, were involved in ESG, environmental social governance. We care about social justice. Yeah. Um, however, it is now 2022, and we've yeah. had more cases since George Floyd. Yeah. How does this whole branding ESG? That's it. Yeah, and the DEI diversity. Yes. Right. Diversity offices and stuff. You know, it's sadly enough to say that every time something happens, you see industries. I could talk about the advertising industry for a second. They always say, oh, we got to do better. And then they just go right back to what they were doing before. Um, and I wrote a lot about this because unless the brands say, unless you have a certain amount of people that are diverse or this is your employment requirements, then why would I be in business with you? I, 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 want, I hold you to a standard. Unless it affects your money, these brands, these agencies, specifically on the, on the creative agency side, they're not going to police themselves. So then they go around and, and they go, and on the brand side, they go, oh, we're going to put a black square. Like, that's not going to do anything. A black square means nothing. That's not commitment. That's commitment to somebody, a social media manager, just making a square black. What are you going to do about the infrastructure on your hiring process? What are you going to do about your board? What are you going to be, do about your marketing campaigns and how inclusive are they? Like, those are the infrastructure things that need to be checked. But unfortunately, what I've seen over and over again is that this stuff, when it's in the top right-hand corner of the Washington Post or the New York Times, everyone cares. Then as soon as it dissipates and something else comes up, like the you know, war in the Ukraine, all that stuff just goes to the side. So nothing really changes. Um, I'm doing the best that we can at United Masters, at my companies, we're hiring, we're fully diverse. Like, I'm committed to that. But I've always been committed to that. Like, it's not a new thing. Uh, the commitment is real. And there are some brands, that I will say, that has done a really good job and have reached out and said, I want to do better. I'm trying my best to do better. Show me the way. Um, and I'm proud of those partners. Um, Google is one of those partners. Apple is one of those partners. Um, uh, there's some brands like the NBA that is absolutely Adam Silver believes that is core in diversity. So there's some, but then there's others that honestly they visit the subject right when the shine is when the sun is shining on them, and then as soon as it goes away, then they go back to business as normal, yeah, normal, usual, that kind of thing. And it's sad because um, you really do want your board and your marketing to reflect society. You, it, 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 you become a, actually a much better business when you have diverse thoughts at the table. You become, Thank you. I mean, you're much, you're much it better. It makes company. it better to it have. It makes us. it better. Like you have, but like it's almost like the nep nepotism is so strong that you choose nepotism over outcome.